Well, good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Yorksville First, Pleasant Grove, and Tippecanoe United Methodist Church. And I have a devotional today out of the book of Genesis, and it's Genesis 4, verse 8. And here we see one of the first major consequences of Adam and Eve's sin. And it says, And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. And obviously, you know, the tragic story, Cain was jealous of Abel, and so he killed Abel. Now, when Adam and Eve found out that their one son had killed the other one, I'm sure the first thing that they were thinking about is what the Lord told them. Remember, the Lord told them back in the Garden of Eden, if they would eat this fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they would surely die. Now, he was talking about a, a physical, spiritual death, but as we know in Romans, sin brings death. Not just um, the spiritual death, but also, as we see in many cases, physical death. Uh, we Before Adam and Eve sinned, there was no suffering, there was no murder, there was no death. And the first, and the, one of the major consequences of sin is death. Not only death, but eternal separation from God. I'm sure when Adam and Eve discovered their son dead, they were regretting eating from that tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I'm sure they longed to be back in the Garden of Eden. And so maybe there is something in your life, a consequence of sin that you've been dealing with, something that you just wish you could take back, that you wish you could undo, but you can't. Well, I'm here to tell you, you may not be able to take back that sin, but Jesus came to forgive us of all of our sins. Now, we might still have to deal with the consequences of sin here and now. Uh, one of the consequences of Adam and Eve's sin is that their son died. So there might still be earthly consequences, but now there is no longer eternal death for those who are in Christ. Now there is no longer eternal separation for those who trust in the Lord. So I ask you to trust in Him. Give Him your sins. Confess them to God. And he will forgive you. There might still be consequences you have to deal with. But God and Christ, God through Christ will totally clear your record. And you will be free of your sin. Adam and Eve, yes they sinned as we all do. And there are consequences. But for those in Christ, there is no longer any eternal consequences of sin. Because Christ paid for them on the cross. Amen.